this video attempts to show you how to connect um, your Xero account via Accounting BI to your Power BI file. This is a, just a blank Power BI file, however you may have you know, an existing one where you want to connect a new data source. So first I go to Get Data. Go to get data from web. And then I go to advanced settings. I then go into my accounting BI account and under my bearer token. I'm going to assume that we're connecting a profit and loss or balance sheet. However, if you're connecting any of the other reports, it may be a different URL. Um, for the purpose of this, I'm taking this URL here. So I just press copy. Then copy and paste that there. Make sure there's no spaces either side. I then type the word authorization, the American spelling with a Z. I then type the, bear, the word bearer here with a capital B and a space after that word. To get the bearer token, I go back into my bearer token section and I copy that token there. It's a very long token, so I suggest pressing that button there, copy. Then copy and paste that there, and you'll notice that there's no spaces at the end of it, um, but there is a space before the bearer token between the word bearer and the token itself. So then press OK. And I wait for Power BI to connect to the connection setting up, and you'll see this dialog. So what you'll see is data coming via the balance sheet as well as the profit and loss. So what I want to do is click on both boxes and expand to new rows. So the box in the top right of each one of these, and you want to expand that to new rows, and you want to do the same for the for the profit and loss table. <clears throat> you then expand the reports. I go across here and do the same profit and loss. Then all I do, go close the node. Depending on the volume of data you've got, this bit may take longer, I have 22,000 rows in that. Um, then you'll see the new table is created um, that is directly linked to the data source itself. If I want to refresh the data, I can just right click on that and then press refresh data. And then that will call the data there. You can then go here and double check and see all the data. You'll see I've got all my data sitting there within a single table. 